Uh, greetings, Dr. Eileen O'Connor. Going back and making some more modifications, went back to the home page, and when I bring my mouse over that page, you can see I have control over the header type. Now, they don't really look very different here. If I go to title only, it looks quite different. You can see that I don't have the background image in it. Actually, it takes a little less space. I've got a large banner. I've got a regular banner, but they don't look too different here. So you would leave it as at where you want it. But you can also have a different background picture for each one of these pages. So I'm on the page I want to change first. I'm going to click to change image. Now I'll pull this up so you can see what happened. I'm scrolling down a little bit. I can upload an image or I can select one. Let's start with just selecting an image. And you can see I can go to my Google album, albums, my Google Drive. I'm going to look at what they have in their gallery. And this was my opening page. It's going to be about my academic work. I generally work at the computer. So I'm going to choose this one and click Select. And it will update this page. Notice that it's making adjustments for what it calls readability. And right now the lettering is very large and it's uh, in white background. If I wanted to change, for example, I bring up an image, I can change the readability, but again, it'll affect how people read things. And if you want to, you could always click the preview. For now, though, I'm going to make changes to each one of my pages. So I clicked over under page. Now I'm going to go to projects. And you can see I have this project, but let's, let's get a different image over here. This time I am going to upload an image. You are brought to your computer and you would scroll over to find an image that you want. Okay, I happen to be working on some images and I'm running something where I would teach somebody how to develop a driver's ed course. So I have a wide and less tall image. There are actually certain dimensions that come up the best. I find I just click on something and then go to see, whoops, then I will go and see how this actually looks. I'm going to open this one and see how it looks. Okay, here's my driver's ed project. Actually, the picture displayed rather well because it was wider than it was tall, but um, I find that it's hit or miss for me, so I test different ways. Now let's try going over to someplace else. Here's resources. Let's try another way to bring in pictures. Now I'm going to change the image, and this time I'm going to select an image but I'm going to oh, go over to my Google Drive. Now I keep a lot of things in my Google Drive. It's very efficient and I find that I can locate images that way. And with my method, I test an image out to see whether I like the way it looks. And there are a number of ways you can find things here. I can look at recent pictures, but it's over here prompting me and I will search and let me just search for um, resources. Now, this depends on how I label my images. I'm not sure if I have anything that comes up here. Resources. Okay, I have some things. I'm not sure what's going to work too well. Okay, here's Credly, which actually went and um, makes badges, although they've changed their model. I don't know how well this is going to display. I will select it. And actually, it displayed fairly well. It's adjusting for readability. This particular type typeface is in dark color so it lightened it up. The banners are to create a look and feel more than to be something you actually want them to read. You can put pictures within your website in different ways. Now what I want to do is see whether these changes look good. So I'm going to publish and let's publish it and then let's view it. It's always important to see how this will look to other readers. And let me move this up here. Okay, for somebody on a tablet, the pages are going to display this way. Let's look at the home page, my academic work, my projects, and my car crash is a little bit off to the side, my resources. Okay, now, how would that display to somebody who is on a tablet? Okay, they're going to see things a little bit differently. 
Sometimes you're not quite sure where the position, where the image will position itself. Here's my driver's ed training project, and here are my resources where I may have gone to look on more things for badges. So once you've created the pictures you want for your badges, excuse me, for your banners, you can click Exit Preview and go back and play with your website even further.